Whoa! Hey! How's it going? We are gonna talk about a brand new CrossFit movement that I made up, except not really. It's based off the Turkish getup. If you want to skip past all this bullshit and go to the actual workout video, click up right here. I'm gonna put a link there for you. Cool, sweet. Here's what we're gonna deal with. A regular, so I'm gonna show you what a regular, what I would consider what a regular Turkish get up is, and then I'm gonna show you what I like to call a supine to standing, an S to S, right? So a standard Turkish get up. You lay on your back, the weight extends overhead, you bend this knee, you come up onto your opposite elbow, and then onto your opposite hand. After that, you bring your knee through and behind you, you come up to a kneeling position here, you stand up, and now you're halfway there, okay? Then you come back to your knee, your hand, your hip, then your elbow, then you lay all the way back down. That is one complete Turkish get up movement. And the way I'm thinking is, how can we do this in a CrossFit workout? Well. Obviously, when you add time to something, you add speed to something, you want to be as, ef as efficient as possible and you want to go as fast as possible. And this sort of movement with several steps, several complicated steps, be hard to judge, right? How do, you, how do you set the criteria for this movement? So here's what I would propose to set the criteria for this movement. It's no longer a Turkish get up, it's something different, and I would call it a supine to standing, okay? So we're just going to get rid of all the gobbledygook in between. Here's the standard. Both shoulder blades on the floor in the beginning of the workout. Weight extended overhead. Okay? That's how you start the movement. How you finish the movement is standing up tall with your hips locked out with the weight overhead. That's the only criteria and the weight obviously can't dip below your head at any point in the movement. Here's the way I figured out how to do it fast as I could. Okay? Right? And then right back down. Much faster. I'm still getting a lot of core. Requires a lot of hip mobility. Core power and obviously a lot of overhead stability. Okay? Now what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to take this workout, take this movement, and put it into a CrossFit workout and see if it transfers over into actual fitness where we can do this competitively in a competition setting or online.